Hey guys, you know who I am, but you don't know who this is. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Becca Ward. Pretty much it, I guess. You're a comedian. I'm a comedian. I do stand up and yeah. sketch comedy. Um, we've got some sketches, hot and funny. Definitely, definitely not clickbait. <laughs> But yeah, uh, love jokes, love comedy, super serial about jokes. Yeah, and so because of this, I thought she was perfect for this new Fanning Out series that we're doing, which of course is covering Animaniacs. And this one is the new one. So we're gonna go right into the new stuff right off the bat, which will be a lot of fun. Heck yeah, Animaniacs. And we're Fanimaniacs. Yay! Yeah. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love puns. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Is it too loud? Good. It's good. Nice. Helen, this species of cartoon has been extinct since 1998. I mean, these haven't been seen on TV since the golden era of animation. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a little violent. <laughs> okay. I think, I think that... Yeah. Oh, I love this. It's just like the movie. Yeah. Because it's that's what he does. <laughs> should break her neck. <laughs> Clean vectored outlines, wide screen format. These don't look like reruns. Uh, well, uh, they're not. <laughs> I reanimated them. We are gonna make a fortune with this show. Hulu. Brilliant. How zany are they? Oh, uh, uh, to the max. <laughs> to the max. Uh, of course. Uh, oh. Then there's uh, Pinky and the Brain. Pink Pinky and the Brain. <gasps> you said you're bringing back Pinky and the Brain. Please. Mm -hmm. Say it again. We're bringing back Pinky and the Brain. <gasps> Welcome to Animaniacs. Wake up! <laughs> Lovely. Oh, so nostalgic. All right, guys, there's a lot of pressure on our first lines. They gotta be funny. They gotta be irreverent. And most of all, they gotta be carefully crafted. But you just wasted yours on. All right, guys, there's a lot of pressure on our first lines. And you just wasted yours on. But you just wasted yours on. All right, guys, there's a lot of pressure on our first lines. Okay. Wait, Make Amazing. sure it's good first. Yeah, it's all on you, Dot. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Two years later, and I'm still a knockout. Oh. <laughs> License characters, it's great. Oh, home sweet home. <laughs> Your prison. <laughs> right? Oh, right, it's a pull, not a push. And <laughs> <laughs> he smacks. Just how I remember. Well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell if that's a pickle or jalapeno or... I think it's a tomato, a rotten <laughs> tomato. <laughs> it is a tomato. <laughs> Dummy thought that would work. <laughs> We're doing this thing where we don't waste our first lines. Make sure it's funny. And something that really captures the intricacies of your character for old and new fans alike. Perfect! <laughs> yes. The soundtrack is so nostalgic. Like it's so proverbial, but it's quality music. And, 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 and it's brand that? new too, which is wild. That? And it tells you how to feel, which is convenient. <laughs> convenient, <laughs> yeah. Most men in LA. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're taking me to the boss's office. Katie, it's an air Oh, I like that the boss is a woman this time. Yes. Macrodos, right. And the Warner sister, yes, I know. It's all right here. I bet. That? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that's right. You're from the 90s. This is a tablet. It contains the sum of all human knowledge. <laughs> all human knowledge in one easy to swallow tablet? Dumb. <laughs> 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 
I'd be worried this drivel is turning your mind soft, but you can't mash what is already mush. Nerf! Precisely. <laughs> Turn that off. Oh, just one more minute, Brain, please. America's Stupidest Pets is my favorite show. Oh, I wish I could carry the television around with me so I could watch it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I want to think. I was going like, to say, this is like in the past. Yeah, like, like, like the commentary is funny, but it's. A little one to shoot too real oh. to where it's like no, Pinky. It's, it's unfortunate. So to me now. It's a little like looking in the world 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 mirror. Comedy comes from tragedy. I know. I'll do it. Fine, but fine I'll line. Silence, Pinky. My work begins. Oh, here we go. Nice. Paired the two. Here we go. At last, Pinky, my humble invention has finally come to fruition. Behold, the age of the internet. Watch closely. You see, humans are obsessed with cute, silly animals. They can't look away. Once they upload these adorable videos to the internet, people around the world marvel at them. It's true. <laughs> it makes sense now why they showed basically America's funniest videos because that's what YouTube is anymore. Yeah. They are the perfect unsuspecting pawns wow. for my master plan. I will become the internet's cutest and silliest animal. Prepare yourself, Pinky. Your heart is about to be warmed. Wow. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready! And Instant action. gratification. Laugh now, for I'm an adult mouse costumed as a baby. And cut! John Jacob okay. Jingleheimer. <laughs> nice. Mind control. <laughs> and now we just sit back and That's relax the filter, I guess. Adoration pours in. Can do! Amazing. Does that work? Because if it does, I'm gonna have to start adding that filter to everything. Another plan foiled. Come, Pinky. We must prepare for tomorrow. No, Brain, look! Not the Himalayas! Not the Himalayas! <laughs> Pinky, what have you done? <laughs> Brain, I think it's working! Can we bring this up? Not the Himalayas! Not the Himalayas! I want that mouse on my show before one of the Jimmys gets him. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. We've really done it. Let me tell everyone her address. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come, celebrity trainers share their secrets on getting back to your birth weight for summer. But first, <laughs> your the birth brain. weight. <laughs> <laughs> the internet sensation has so conquered our hearts. That's the way. <laughs> just days after the U.S. government agreed to add his lovable face to Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> yes, praise him. The act that will forever cement my status as popular internet meme slash dictator Here for life. Go. I am going to... Uh, hi, excuse me. You're Himalaya's mouse, right? Of course. It is I. The brain... Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, I remember that meme. Classic. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Myers appreciates you coming by, but unfortunately we've had to bump you. Bump me? For who? Oh, okay. So his name is Business Pig. You know, the pig who made the New York Swines. <laughs> gonna make a smart show. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's right. Even read the New York Swines. Swines. Hey, I know that pig. I just shared a video of him this morning. Pinky, you puerile pustule. You used my mind control filter. I like the swirl. I think it's 
Prepare for tomorrow night. What are we going to do tomorrow night? Same, Same thing, thing we do every, every night, night, Pinky. Try to take Stop over it. the world. Just the the unique insults. Like mm -hmm. that's what I grew up on. <laughs> <laughs> Back? Yeah, I was yeah. addicted to this show as a child. Well, the original, it's I guess. It's a cost-effective way to reintroduce IP to a whole new generation. Mm -hmm. Or the next generation, if I <laughs> make it so. <laughs> Set phases to killing it! <laughs> Look how they're rebooting lots of shows! <gasps> Charmed came back! And the X-Files! Just bring back old shows now. I bet I could sing a bodily satirical song about it. Did you just do that right before Pinky and the Brain. Uh -uh. You're also part of the Age of Reboot, sis. We got true. Again. Just like the calling out of the classic Hollywood tropes is oh. so perfect. So Hollywood is the only thing you know. Murphy Brown, Melrose Place. That's true. In space. That's true. That's Ravens, what they're Holy craving. crap. I know that's a show that's saving. It's really showing it. Wow. They just call it, calling themselves out, which is true. brilliant. <laughs> Wait, to get ahead of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, if we're going to be a part of this joke. Oh my god. <clears throat> All of these things are actually rebooted. <laughs> Get the script right, it's clear. You've done sequels, try for prequels. Think of all the streams that equals you. <laughs> these techniques will we'll make, make your shows revered. Shows revered. Reboot it, renew it, reshoot it, redo it, and reuse it, retool it, wow. abuse it. Just view it if you want to make some easy cash. Just recycle and rehash. Repeat it, reinstate it, reheat it, recreate it. There's no need to feel frustrated. I so love it. Just Frankenstein monster. It's <laughs> jam. Smash, dig it up out of the trash. Come on. Uh. Just reboot it. <laughs> no Perry Mason? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Yakko Warner. And all joking aside, reboots are symptomatic of a fundamental lack of originality in Hollywood. <laughs> a creativity crisis fueled by terrified executives clinging to the past like rats to the debris of a sinking ship. Yeah, have you no shame? Here's your check for the Animaniacs reboot, you sellouts. Yeah, but when we sell out, we know we're selling out. So it's cool. <laughs> so it's cool. So it's cool. Nice. Amazing. <laughs> so, if you guys hadn't figured it out, we're watching the new thing, which I mentioned. So we're both new to this. This is, we're not like, we're both fans of this show, the original, but we're also both brand new to this. So it's kind of fitting our criteria. <laughs> <laughs> We're noobs and we're fans. Yeah. This was great. I like I like how in the first episode they're like, well, how do we do this first episode? Should we do the same thing we did the first time? Which they sort of do. Except they're like, but wait, wait, we gotta catch up everything. So then they caught us up, and I like how the boss that is always a you know, was always a man and was always like pissy about everything, and now we've got a man or we got a woman 
boss who is just like, and I love that line. She's like, no, I, I pulled a ladder up with me. <laughs> it's so great. Like, and, and there's a reason why Steven Spielberg is behind this show. I think he's behind Tiny Toons as well, but this one especially, because you need someone powerful like Steven Spielberg to be behind this. Yeah. I mean, they mostly stuck with Warner Brothers licensed stuff, but they still like, you saw that there was like a, there was like a Black Panther ripoff when they were going up the tower and everything. Like yeah. they have, they have references whenever they can get away with it. And if they can't get away with it, then they'll go as close as they can to it as possible. Because they're, they're tipping their hat to anyone watching who's well aware of what's going on. This show was smart actually when we were kids too. Yeah. But we were dumb. Right, we were being dumb. <laughs> that, that's fair, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was always, it was all, I remember seeing that and I was like, they know that I'm a kid, right? Like, yeah. they're making all these adult references. And I'm like, I'm a kid watching this in the middle of the day, like... I mean, but we were laughing at, you know... We were laughing at... There animals was this, getting there was, hit over the head with anvils. Right, because there's which... things in that... There's things in this for, for children as well, but, like, there's so much humor for adults, and it's great. Well, it's, it's something I actually remember, like, my mom and my dad watching with us. Mm -hmm. This, like... Dexter's Lab, like a handful of other like oh, yeah. Cartoon Network type mm -hmm. shows that Pinky and the Brain definitely. Oh yeah, were and, smart and they, enough and they got their own spin-off show back in the '90s as well, the Pinky and the Brain. Yeah. Did. yeah, so it's like, of course, that's why they really focal focus on them, especially in the first episode. Like, well, and I think that's what people have been craving. Yeah, you know, there is so much newness on the internet, <laughs> and the instant gratification, like the Instagram calling that out, and the <laughs> instant gratification. <laughs> That is like, <laughs> but that's for the whole yeah. kick and caboodle of it, which yeah. is like, we get so used to that, that we miss our history. We miss like our, our childhood, like connections, ties to things. So I've been craving something like this. Which totally. is why, which is why at the end of this episode, it's all about re reboot it, renew it. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing is, it's like, yeah, I mean, there's something cheap about it for sure. But I mean... <laughs> I'm just gonna call myself out. We're buying it. We're, we're buying the cheap shit. We're reaction channel. <laughs> we're reaction channel for a reason. Like, yeah, I like these shows, but to be honest, you guys like this stuff. And as long as you like it, <laughs> I'm enjoying doing it. You know, like yes. you gotta go where the audience is, and the audience, you know, we want we want we want nostalgia. We like we yes. want the things that we used to like and we love showing it to you know, I'm not a parent, but if I had children, I like showing it to my kids, you know, like yeah. it's just what it is. Like people like they like the thing that they already liked. I mean, it's good to revamp it, it's good to renew it, and it's also really important that we introduce new things along the way. Correct. But reboots are okay, depending on how you go about it, I suppose. It really depends, because well, there are certain things that are like, ugh, why? Yes, <laughs> yes. But yeah, this was a great episode, this was fun, and I'm ready for more, how about you? I'm so ready, yes, it's just like, this was a Saturday morning vibe. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for fanning out with us. Fans out.